All right, I think I got everything set. I think I'm not gonna have tech issues today, knock on wood, you know, just I'm feeling positive about the tech issues today. How are you guys doing? We've got the jams going. I think they're at a good volume. Got my thing set up, got my meatballs dancing. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. PB and jams, yeah. Except, hang on, I can't see chat. There we go, that's better. Okay. Let's jump into it. Hi, hello. How are you? Beautiful humans. All right, I'm resizing some stuff so you guys can see it. All right. So we've got our jammies. We've got our jams and our jammies. I, I, let me know if the music is too loud. I think it's okay. I'm doing fine. Awesome to hear. There we go. Now I can see everything. I can see everything. Breakfast, dinner, pancakes, and oatmeal. Yes. I also had breakfast for dinner today. I, fix this. I had three breakfasts today, actually. I had breakfast for breakfast. I had breakfast for lunch. And then I had breakfast for dinner. Yogurt and cereal, pancakes for lunch, and then an egg sandwich for dinner. Triple breakfast. I'm spoiled. It's a, it's a hard life. Triple breakfast time. Okay, yeah, so that's good. All right, so today um, I was going to maybe work on some other... I had a bunch of ideas that I wanted to work on today. But instead of trying to do something complicated, we're just going to start something new. I don't even know where it's going to go. You know, we'll just start it and see what happens. Um, so, oh, I guess I should do the whole, like, posting that you're live on Twitter. Well, that's fine. We'll do it later. We'll do it when I have something to show. So, um, let me get the glove. No glove, no love, right? So that's what they say. <laughs> it's an all-day breakfast adventure. Yeah, exactly. I love these things. I don't know if any, any digital artists out there are on the fence about getting one. They're so awesome. All right. We got some we got some intense music today. I want some more chill stuff. There we go. Get the lo-fi. Oh god, it's got the stupid There we go. We'll just go back to this playlist. Okay. You know a few with those things. Yeah, they're great. They're wonderful. Okay, so let's try this out. So we're going to do just a quick sketch. Um, kind of block things in. So we'll do it with a watercolor wash. Why not? All right. So we'll wet the canvas. So we'll just kind of get the composition in here. So this is just a nice, you know sunset mountain scene I'll just kind of block it in it's funny that the kind of terms that that we use as artists it's just like i don't even think about it anymore like something like block it in i was talking to i was talking to my mom about it and i was talking about the process so i'm like oh yeah you just block it in and she's like what does block it in mean what does that mean? Like, oh, it's it's when you block it in. It's when you you block it out. <laughs> it's just like one of those things you don't even think about. The ad scared me. Oh, I'm sorry, Hillary. I have no control over that. But how am I? I'm doing fantastic. I'm doing even better now that you're here. This is kind of creepy. This is kind of a creepy song. Sorry, I'm new to this whole soundtrack thing. I don't have one created or whatever. 
But yeah, how are you, Hillary? I kind of want to just listen to my Spotify and delete the VOD because this music is terrible. I kind of want to do it. Well, let's we'll give it a we'll give it a few more minutes. Just chilling, good to hear. Good to hear. Well, I'm glad you're here chilling with me. It was awesome running into you in uh, Kino's stream. <laughs> okay, so kind of got composition here. Oh, so the um, you like this music? Okay, yeah. Now we're getting to some good music. I didn't like like the creepy whispering. Come on down to the dance floor. That kind of stuff. Move your body to the beat. Gyrate those hips. I don't know. It doesn't get me into the, the art mood, if you know what I mean. Hell, you know what I mean. Whisper ASMR is creepy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't do it. My computer's kind of struggling. <laughs> I haven't used this app that much with streaming, so I'm still trying to figure out like the, the limits. Hey, kitty. Where's the Discord ping that you're live? Oh, I don't... I feel rude pinging on my Discord. Should I do it? Should I do it? I feel like at everyone? Do I do an at everyone? That's a lot of people. That's like 10 people. I'm not going to do it. That's that's creepy. I'll just say I'm live. I'm going to say in general chat, I'm live. That's it. There we go. There's your ping. There's your ping. Hey, Dig Lebowski. How's it going? Hey, Gloom Cookie. How are you? Oh, no. Did you guys see the, the, the canvas has been melting? As I've been talking to you guys. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Dick Lebowski, thank you for stopping by that random uh, Discord stream I did. Sharing my process on one of my pieces. Okay, this is this brush is just not working for me. Everyone does it. I see I feel I feel weird. And I even feel weird like with people in my Discord. Even when I streamed, I never had people in my Discord. Should I do it? Okay, I'm going to do it. This feels so weird. There we go. Break through the fear. Be brave. Be brave. <laughs> I did it. I did it because of you. I blame you. But yeah, if you guys want to join my Discord, feel free to come on by and join it. We are doing some fun. Oh, throwing you under the bus. No, I'm, 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 I'm saying that you inspired me to do it. Uh, there's actually a new redeem today. Um, I, I, I had this idea for a redeem. I think it was last stream. Um, everyone was must live, yeah. Um, so if you'll notice the point redeems, I don't think anybody has enough points to do it. But we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. Why is my computer so slow? There it goes. Oh yeah, the link. There's, there's probably a need for posting like a link. But, um, fear is never boring. Yeah, I like that. It's a good phrase. If anybody does redeem the new, uh, what, I don't know what you call it, point redeem thing, uh, I'll post it in my Discord. It's a fun idea I had last time because I, I recently went through all of my photos. It's like 50,000 photos or something ridiculous. Um, and I just had so much fun. I was sharing old photos with friends. 
and I thought it'd be fun to have a point redeem where you could uh, unlock a random old picture of me. Okay, there it is. <laughs> April did it. <laughs> okay, okay. So here's the first one. I think I, I said like you can only redeem like three. Okay, so I gotta find it. I made a folder for it. Uh, photo redeem. Okay. <laughs> okay, do you want... Do you want one, two, three, or four, April? One, two, three, or four. Three, two, three. Okay. Okay, so in the Discord, I'm posting the first one in the Discord. Um, I feel like this is kind of a meme -y thing. No, it's a, I'll put it in general. Photo redeem. <laughs> okay, here it is. This is this is I just posted in the Discord. You've unlocked a photo redeem number three. <laughs> that was when I was twelve, and I was. It was right when I had discovered the monkey on strike um, name. <laughs> I I thought this was so fun it, because I have like so many old photos. <laughs> what kitty? You don't like that? And I was trying to think of like things to do for um, the photo redeem or the photo redeem, the um, sub points and channel points and stuff. Um, cause I'd seen like what other people do, like hydrate, like don't forget to hydrate. In fact, hey, don't forget to hydrate. April, thank you for sharing, for unlocking. Okay, so we've kind of got the composition here, y'all. Let's get back to the art, guys. Back to the art, not the distractions. Kind of got the composition here. I think it's good. The The marks are bleeding a lot, so I'm going to dry the canvas and I'm going to switch brushes. So I'm going to switch over to an oil brush. I think I want to switch over to, oh my God, another one, kitty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you want four, zero, one, or five, four, zero, one, or five. <laughs> zero is kind of lame. Zero is kind of lame. Four, zero, one, or five. Which one do you want? I think I said you can only do one. No, Dig Lebowski, you did not. Four? Oh my god, that's four is a good one. Four is a good one. <laughs> Thank you, Dick Lebowski. I really appreciate that. It means a lot. Uh, there's the second photo redeem. It was me. I think I was one and a half. Oh, hi, Rulu. You're not here. <laughs> Command abuser. Well, thank you for being here, Rulu. So my, my mom tells the story of this picture as, like, I had a hard time sitting up when I was a kid, but for some reason when they would put me at the piano... I would like sit up perfectly and put my hands out like I was playing it. And they thought I was going to be like a musical savant. I think they said that I was going to be a musical savant because I was really stupid and they were trying to find a reason to like, you know, say that I'm, I'm smarter. And they're like, oh, maybe he's, maybe he's one of those, uh, the, the uh, savants that, you know, knows one thing, but you know, he's, he can't sit up. <laughs> See, it worked. Yeah. Thank you, Dick Lebowski. Mind is to do hand exercises. Yes, see, I keep, I keep doing. I don't know if you guys have noticed doing that. That's a good one. I like that. I, f I do feel like like setting timers and stuff is much better than expecting people to remember to uh, give those to you. Actually, today I just looked up. In fact, talking about hand exercises, I have these things right here. I was doing a bunch of hand exercises earlier today because my my hands have not been happy. 
they have not been happy. I struggle with um, tendonitis I have for 10 years. Sometimes it flares up really badly. And since I've been working on my art portfolio for uh, MFA programs, my tendonitis has just been very poopy. Poopy tendonitis. Look at them baby cheeks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You have to do some more after knitting for an hour. Yeah, see, hand exercise is really, really good. There's the stretching and the exercises. I think I need to do more of the exercises because I feel like I do stretching. I'm probably not enough. But um, the exercises are really good for preventing injuries. Stretches are good for when you're injured. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to have a big problem when I streamed last... Um, last time when I streamed in 2015 2016 I had a big issue with uh, tendonitis as well it's poopy but that's why I enjoy um oh AI art I just thought of another redeem um one redeem could be you make some like stick figure drawings and you redeem it and then I'll turn it into AI art uh with my my machine learning uh, model that I've been using for my artwork. Could be another fun one. Did you post on Twitter that you were alive? No. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? All right, there, I took a picture. Cause you gotta, pictures are good on Instagram. Um, Twitter, did I say Instagram? Join me live on this internet thing called Twatch. I'm doodling a landscape. Tweeted. Twatted. I twatted it. Uh, and I'll reply with the link twitch.tv slash monkey on strike. That's me. That's me. I did it. Blame Kitty. Blame Kitty for turning me into like a, an actual streamer and not just somebody who has these weird fake streams that say that you're not actually watching anything. Watch me on Twatch. <laughs> what a terrible name. Twatch TV. Who thought of that? Ooh, I did it. Thank you. Thank you, Gloom Cookie, for the support. Thank you. By the way, the um, the portrait you did, the one that's your profile on Instagram, Gloom Cookie, I love it. It's a wonderful, wonderful portrait. Did I mention this last time? I feel like it did, but I'll say it again. It's a wonderful portrait. It's a kind little push. Yes, yes. Using the tweeters. I'm tweetering. As opposed to the Instagram. It's not Instagram, it's Instagram. All right, so we need some more of this purple. This juicy, juicy purple is like down here. There's this like chunky, juicy purple right here. And we've got like a band of lighter, chunky, juicy up here. And then got some chunky, chunky, chonky. I feel like it would be the worst like person to do like a Bob Ross thing. You know how he always makes all those noises? I would just be like chunky, 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 chunk. All right, now we got some nice, so let's get, so there's like a, it's almost like a warmer white. Purple Gushers. Oh, Purple Gushers sound really good. I can't remember. 
can't remember when the last time I had gushers was. Oh yeah, this is this is the color I wanted for the snow. I mean, it, I could do it a little more blue, but let's do this as the the sketch. It's so hard because you want to get the right color when you first put something down, but you just kind of you gotta accept and live with what you do put down. All right, so then we'll bring up a little more grayscale. Yeah, less saturated. And it does get pretty dark up here, so we're gonna we're gonna make this a little darker. Yeah, actually, that's a good color. Not too warm though. Let's cool it off. Cool it off. Just, we're just going to fill this area in. Anyone out there creating, doodling, painting, crafting, cooking, eating? I really, I'm really happy that um, you guys are here. It, it means a lot to me. Um, it's 2020 and 2021 have been ridiculous. And 2019 was pretty tough for me too. So it's just, I, I just think it's amazing that even though I haven't streamed in forever that you guys are here decorating on Animal Crossing. Now that is creative. That is creative. But yeah, really, it really means a lot that you guys would come hang out with me. And all you lurkers out there, thank you so much for lurking and chilling. I feel your love even though you're silent, silent in the shadows. Hey, Sticky, how you doing? A cat sofa. It's super cool to see that. Thank you, kitty. I hope you're doing well, Sticky. Are you fantastic little meat man, meatball man? <laughs> it was fun watching your uh, Behance stream. I enjoyed that. more saturated and orange yeah there we go uh if you guys don't follow sticky he's a wonderful wonderful creator definitely go follow him he does um uh, mostly final fantasy on twitch and then he streams on um uh behance behance which I, t I got warned. I was in your stream, Sticky. <laughs> I was in your stream and they, they moderated one of my comments. I don't even know what I said. And then I got an email after. And they're like, we wanted to reiterate our terms of service and you how you broke our terms of service. <laughs> hey, working chef, how's it going? I don't know what I said. I, I honestly don't know what I said. And, like, I, I got an email from their support team, like, oh, that's happened to you, too? Okay. I I was like, what the, what the hell did I just say? <laughs> auto emails? It didn't feel like an auto email. I guess, of course it is, yeah. I'm a rule breaker. <laughs> How are you doing, Chef? Thank you for being here. I think I just said fuck. I think I just said fuck in your channel. Well, I'm I'm gonna look into it more because it'd be fun to. It'd be fun to check out Behance more, check out a platform that actually does art. Though we do love Twitch. I love you, Twitch, as a Twitch partner. <laughs> I love this platform. Boss being inappropriate? What? I'm definitely no I am no longer family friendly, guys. This is no longer a PG thirteen channel. This is no longer the traditional Mossiverse. <laughs> I have changed. I have adapted to the dark world. At everyone fuck. Can we say it now? Fuck. Fuck. 
we can say fuck. Oh my fucking god. We're free. Free to, free to say fuck. Don't use gamer words like the fuck bomb. Alright, so I'm feeling good about the composition. There's a few things I wanted to change. Like these trees here on the left are a little too chunky. They're a little too big. Uh, let's go ahead and fix that. Cooters and, and webs? Webs? Oh, boobs. Your iPhone says censoring of it. That's great. That's awesome. All right, there we go. That's a nice, that's a beautiful orange. Yes, that is beauty, beauteous. So if you guys, uh, this app I'm using, it's called Rebel uh, for all you digital painters out there. It's very, it's pretty simple in terms of like the amount of brushes you can use, but it is very powerful in terms of what you get out of those brushes. Um, would totally recommend it. It's a free trial. Um, it's really, really nice app. I've been, I've been enjoying it a lot. I think it's, it's what I've been missing since I tried uh, Corel Painter when I was like 12, no, 13. I, I just fell in love with Corel Painter, but um, I don't know. There's something about it. It's kind of like um, very finicky. It crashes a lot. Frick. Say frick. But yeah, unlike uh, Adobe, um, the, this app is nice because it's it's got the one-time um, purchasing fee. I think Corel Painter still has a one-time purchase fee. I don't know. Last time I used it, I just didn't didn't have fun with it. But if you're a digital painter out there and you're looking for a Christmas present, try this app out. Maybe it's a good one for you. This is not a hashtag ad. I'm just saying that I like this app. I am not getting paid. You've listened to my albums? Oh my gosh, thank you. That means a lot. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, if you guys, um, if you guys haven't heard, my album Dinosaurs Don't Believe in Meteors is out on all major platforms. Um, I just put it up on Bandcamp too. Um, it's like a chill electronic album. It's kind of silly, um, very much like a video game music kind of thing, kind of vibe, instrumental. Um, I'd love if you checked it out. It's, it's, it's goofy. It's silly. Thank you, Kitty. And I'm working on the next one, um... Yeah, the next one's coming around. I, I, I have to finish my applications to schools. I keep getting distracted with music. Um, so I'll probably finish that in, just probably in January, I hope. I keep trying to learn CSP, but I have 20 years of muscle memory. Yes, I, the muscle memory is really tough to get over. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel you there. Although one thing, um, like I don't know if you have a stream deck or uh, like Cintiqs come with this thing. Um, you can map these kinds of devices to hotkeys. So it's like a color picker, brush, eraser, fill tool, lasso, deselect, uh, zoom out, zoom in, undo, redo, that kind of stuff. And if you program that in every app, it's a it's a kind of a good way to get over that initial hurdle of um, having that muscle memory. Well, you have to learn how to use these, which takes a bit. <laughs> it's pretty new for studying environment. Thank you, Kitty. I'm I'm glad I'm glad it works for you. Yeah, I know I, I know what you mean, Kitty. There's something that I I kind of enjoy about it. I guess I I enjoy the challenge of learning something new. Like with music production, like learning how to, learning music is just like music theory and 
how to work with synthesizers and stuff. Like, I like the challenge of, you know, breaking your own brain. But, um, yeah. Yeah, and Dig Lebowski, what's funny is, like, I've had a stream deck since they came out. I bought one when it came out, and I wasn't even going to use it for streaming. Um, hang on, i got to figure out. Y7G is apparently what this painting is called. Save it. Um, yeah, so I got a stream deck initially, not for streaming, but for art. And I didn't use it for art up until like two months ago. And oh my god, it's so nice. It's so nice just to like have everything you need with w your fingertips in one hand. And then your other hand is free to just, just create and play. I've always been a fan of, of shortcuts too. And I find, I find that that allows me to create um, in a better way. It's like more direct in terms of like trying to get at what I'm thinking about and seeing. I don't know, everyone has a different process though. Like I, I don't use any of the buttons on the pens, the, the Wacom pen. I just have the hotkeys so I can switch to my eraser really fast. Um, I don't you know turn my pen around. I feel like that's wasting time. rather be I'd rather be painting but yeah maybe I could do yeah, I, I'm trying to get you know I'm just trying content creation again I, I could try to create like a little video on how I've set up my uh, my Cintiq buttons and my my stream deck is essentially the same yeah it is weird isn't it and I feel like you're kind of you know in that moment where you're like switching it's like a I feel like uh, I lose a bit of my brain when I do that. I like my thought process. I lose a bit of my brain. I kind of disconnect from the, the the thought process I had there. Okay, so it's almost where I want it, and then I'll start... I'll start going in here and start smudging and coloring and changing contrast and everything. I'm just making sure I get everything placed where I want it. Almost there. This is nice. I'm having fun with this one. Um, the portraits I've been doing, every time you flip your pen, 50 brain cells die. Exactly. Exactly. Um, see, I just flipped the the pen in my mind, and I just lost fifty brain cells. What was I talking about? I don't even remember. Oh, I was talking about the portraits I've been doing. So the last few times when I stream, um, I've been having so many tech issues that I haven't been able to plan or figure out what I want to do. And this was the first time where I was like, "Oh, I'm all set up now. What do I want to do?" And I was, I was really feeling about uh, a landscape. I am updating my website, uh, monkeyonstrike.com. I just deleted every print that I had on there. I wasn't happy with the prints I had up. I was also not happy with the prices. Um, I thought they were too expensive. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reducing the prices by like 30%. It was like, I, it was just too expensive before. Um, and I'd rather, I'd rather have people have my art than, you know, only a few people have it. So I just have like a test print up there because it took me like five hours to do that. Snack Pritchett, make pop, put chocolate chips in the shake. Ooh, wow. Hillary, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it's Christmas hockey carol. <laughs> what? <laughs> Christmas hockey carol. What does that mean? <laughs> Don't undersell yourself. No, no, I'm, I'm definitely. So one of the things I made sure to do today, um, I do my prints to order and I just made sure that I had like a profit margin that I was happy with, which with each of the prints. And that's why it took me four hours to get this, this one print up on my site. Um, I, I created a spreadsheet and I, you know, in, input everything from like wholesale value to, to sales tax and 
I wanted to make sure that it was a, it was a, a fair point for people, and I you know I I, I got some fat stacks of uh, dollars. Oh hey, first time chatter, wayward Danny, how you doing? Uh, what's going on? My name is Moss Monkey on Strike. I'm a painter here on Twitch. I'm a partner. I'm a Twitch partner here on Twitch. How are you doing today, wayward Danny? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I, I did the um, like a spreadsheet and made it really difficult for myself. But now whenever I want to do a new print, I basically just put it through this spreadsheet and I get like all the sizes. I get the prices. It's really easy now, now that I've spent a bunch of time in it. So I'm excited to redo my website. I was hoping to do it before the end of the year. Help Twitch partner paint. <laughs> VIP had just followed. Wow. Wow. Wait, Kitty, you're not a VIP? I thought you were a VIP. I thought I VIP'd you. There we go. I could have sworn I did that. That's funny. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping to update my website with more prints, and I was thinking today would be a fun day to... Maybe play around and see if, you know, I could get another landscape up there. Well, I did, Kitty. Well, I did. I've got 60 VIPs, baby. Don't think you're special. <laughs> Just kidding. You're very special. We're all special. You are now a VIP. The ceremony will commence. The VIP ceremony. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying streaming again. This is fun. Six is it sixty VIPs? I feel like that's what partners get is sixty VIPs. I thought I read that somewhere. I'm lying. I might be lying. Oh, Danny, um, Matrix is coming out, and did you know Matrix is coming out? And uh, I was thinking about movies with Keanu. Uh, that I watched from my childhood, and I saw that um, Johnny Mnemonic was on Netflix, and I watched it the other night. And, oh my god! What have you seen that recently, Johnny Mnemonic? Hey, cause of panic, how you doing? Is spelling be Paul the flip? <laughs> I hope the I hope meatballs aren't super 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 smelly. How you been, Casa Panic? Uh but yeah, Johnny Mnemonic it it is something. It's it's very weird. I you know, I was actually okay with it. Like there were parts where I was like, this is really bad. But it's like it's like a solid it's like a solid four, solid five out of ten. Not a, not a four or five out of five. It is a trip. Do you like cyborg Jesus worshippers? Do you like psychic dolphins? Do you like being a USB stick? Well, we've got a movie for you. Johnny Mnemonic. A hot new film with Keanu Reeves. Doing okay. That's awesome. It's been forever since you. It's been a while since I've streamed. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> but I'm glad you're here hanging out. I'm streaming every Sunday now just for fun. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But for the foreseeable future, I'm, I'm back. You smell like purple. That's I smell like purple too. It was easily amused in 1995. Yeah, we were dating. I, I felt the same. It's, I I was still entertained. I mean, I wasn't watching it. I was I, I was definitely like playing on my phone while it was in the background or painting. But I, I, I saw it and I watched it. And I thought of you. I thought of you. My first time viewer. My first time chatter. We were Danny. Oh, please, guys. Um. If you guys don't follow Wayward Danny, please give him a follow. He's an awesome streamer. He's retired, but he'll he'll come back at some point. Cause of Panic, do you still stream? 
Um, Hillary Ann is out there, I think. She's a professional League of Legends player. Uh, she's incredible. Her her sick ARAM middle su support gold farming jungle is, is something to see. You've got to watch. And Sticky's out there somewhere, too. But yes, thank you guys. Thank you guys for being here. Make sure you send some love out. Yeah, it's streamed since October 2016. I, I feel you there. I feel you there. <laughs> that was... Yeah, 2016 was the last time I was streaming regularly. And then I did some, like, random streams. We'll follow, follow Cause of Panic nonetheless. Why not? For fun. For funsies. Let's get some more red in here. Let's darken. Ooh, whoa, that's too dark. Whoa. Whoa. That's fun. That's a fun color. It's a fun color. Maybe one day. Yeah, maybe one day. I said I was never going to stream again. And here, look at look at this. Look at look at us. Look at us. Oh, it's like a nice deep blue down here. Oh, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that. That's nice. And so are these colors. These colors are darker. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Never say never. Never say never. I don't know why this song brought me back to hanging out at the mall and listening to Castles in the Sky. I was just, just checking to make sure that this wasn't that, that song. You guys know what song I'm talking about? I think it was called Castles in the Sky. Never Say Never from American Tale. I don't know if I know what that is. Is that with the chipmunk who... No, it's Five Will Goes West. It's not a chipmunk like a mouse right I, I don't know I don't know he's a mouse okay I'm sorry those movies scared me when I was a kid like Brave Little Toaster and Five Goes West. Those movies scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. I probably just, like, blocked him out. Blocked out the fact that he was a chipmunk. A uh, mouse. He was, he was a mouse, not a chipmunk. Yeah, those movies are, those movies are powerful, but I, I think they were too powerful for my little brain. My little monkey brain. Don't forget to save your work. I should rewatch Brave Little Toaster. Five Five Will Goes West is the sequel. Okay, so that's why I was thinking of it. Okay. American Tale. I'm trying to think. Isn't the story in in Five Will Goes West? He's like trying to meet his family who were like on a train and he got lost or something what what was it american tale i don't know what it is what it is with streaming and making my nose run my nose just runs i don't understand it i'm nervous you guys are making me nervous you guys you guys, you guys are, you guys are making me nervous. If 
I got lost on a ship to America. It's, okay, so it's a ship, not a train. Okay, so I did kind of remember it. I did kind of. Not really, but... Give myself some credit. Maybe we should do a Fievel Goes West or Brave Little Toaster movie night. Uh, if you guys want, you can join my Discord. We're going to do some movie nights at some point. Probably in the next, maybe maybe after Christmas we'll start doing them. Um, we have a list of movies. Like, I had never seen... Uh, hey, Ark Knight, how are you doing? Go catch that nose. <laughs> how are you doing, Ark Knight? Uh, what was the movie that you mentioned? Um, Princess Bride. I've always heard it as like being an amazing movie, but I n I've never seen it. I have never seen it, so we, we might watch Princess Bride if it's on a streaming platform. An easily accessible streaming platform. Secret of Nim. I don't remember what Secret of Nim is. Oh, I missed this message. He was a, being a disobedient mouse and was thrown into the sea. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Robin Hood Men in Tights. I, um... I watched that movie recently. Didn't we watch that, Danny? Didn't we watch that one? Yeah, it was okay. It was all right. I mean, it was I didn't I didn't enjoy it that much. Yeah, Princess Bride. Yeah, so that's that's probably that'll be one of the first ones. I don't know. I I kind of like when people pick movies. Um I, then I watch things that I would never see. Um have you guys heard of Handmaid? Handmaiden? Handmaiden it was insanity. I would have never picked it based on the description, based on the trailer, even based on the ratings. I would never have picked it. But I watched it in a movie night with some other people, and it was a really powerful movie. It's got like a 95 score on Rotten Tomatoes. I think the description of it is it's an erotic psychological thriller. <laughs> No, no, go ahead and spam, kitty. I'm ke I'm keeping up. A good classic movie. Yeah, see, I I need to I need to watch the good classics. Not sure when or how I follow this channel. Well, Miss RPG girl, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're hanging out with us, even just to share your confusion. I'm glad you're here. It could have been years and years ago that you followed this channel. I, I have not been a regular streamer for eons, many, many eons. I used to wear a Bob Ross fro and paint acrylics. I don't know if that uh, that helps. Uh, you could try follow age. Yeah, give that a try. I think it's just exclamation mark follow age one word. <laughs> Kitty's been following for six years. Oh my gosh. What a trip. Miss RPG six years, four months, twelve days, five hours. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. So you were following me back when I was doing acrylic painting. And I would wear an afro and do random stuff. It was more instructional. It was very PG back then. Uh, I no longer do that kind of content. I don't plan on ever doing that kind of content. <laughs> Everyone's doing followage. Six years, four months. Wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> Why can't you do it, Danny? Oh, Falawago. Because he said Falawago. 
I just watched the original Ghostbusters movie before I went to the new one called Afterlife. Nice. Do you re wait? You recommend the the new one, Arknight, or do you recommend the the old one? Cause of course, recommend the old one. Of course. Yeah, exactly, RPG girl. It's it's because I haven't streamed in forever, and people are like, "Who the hell are you? Why would I follow you?" <laughs> Do you remember who you used to watch six years ago? It's, I mean, it's like, that's kind of a bit, that's a long time. <laughs> Both. Okay, cool, Arknight. No, it's good to know. Wow, Danny. Wow. 16 minutes. <laughs> 16 minutes fastest VIP. Fast VIP in existence. <laughs> Fog the cat man. Remember the name now, children. Fog the cat man. Thank you so much for coming back. Yeah, it's it's been a long time since I've I've streamed. So I'm just glad you guys are here hanging out. And even though you might not remember me, I'm glad you're you're chilling and hanging out with us. For all you people out there that are, are new, or all the people out there who don't remember me, I'm Moss, or Monkey on Strike. I'm a painter. Uh, I just started getting into music, uh, making electronic music, and I used to stream like every day in 2015, 2016. Um... But now I'm I'm streaming. I might be streaming every Sunday for a while. We'll see how it goes. I do portraits and landscapes. Um, I usually try to use a lot of colors, uh, kind of abstract. Uh, let's see what else. I like breakfast for dinner. <laughs> That's all you need to know about me. That's all. But yeah, if you guys want to just hang out, that's amazing. If you guys want to lurk, you guys are incredible. I just, I'm really glad you guys are here. That means a lot. I've always enjoyed Twitch as like a, um, a way to meet people who are interested in the same kind of stuff, you know. I feel like we're all kind of like this weird intersection of like games and art. That's, it's, it's beautiful to find people like that because, you know... Both of those things are kind of solitary. I mean, sure, you can you can you know find people out there in the world that do those things, but Twitch is just such a cool place to find that intersection. Back in the early days of creative, yes. Death sculpt, oh yeah, I remember Death sculpt. A lot of colors, but not green. I sometimes use green. We could throw in some green in here. I hate this autosave. What program is this? So this is Rebel, R-E-B-E-L-L-E. -E -E. Uh, it's a really cool program that simulates um, uh, media, especially wet media. And right now I'm using an oil brush. Um, there's oil, watercolor, acrylic, pen, pencil, charcoal, and marker. It's a pretty simple program uh, that you can't, like, download new brushes and upload them to this it's like the basic brushes that are there and then you can modify them um but it what what it does a really good job of is like mixing like here we can zoom in here so it's just got like really nice chunky marks let's get something really chunky so you get this like really really nice marks and you can really play around with them in fun ways. And then the the wet brushes, um, they blend. They blend really nicely. Mod check? Green mod check? No mods. There are no mods here. No mods exist here. I 
Uh, but yeah, I really love this program. The, the, the watercolor brushes and blending brushes and stuff like that, I'm still getting used to. Um, but you can do some, you can do some really cool things with them. Um, I'm still, yeah, I'm still like trying to, Ooh, what the heck? That's an error. Okay. I, f I think I figured it out. So like with these watercolor brushes, we can watch them start to bleed, which is really fun to, to do like kind of, um, playing around with them. Oh, you're watching a video on it. Nice. Um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's, it's, it's really exciting to me because I like the, um, digital media programs that simulate traditional media. Photoshop kind of does it, but this one just has so much fun. It's so much fun to play with it. I mean, like, look at, look at this kind of blending stuff that's going on here. It's just, it's just gorgeous. Oh yeah. We can see it move in real time. Look at it dance. Look at it dance. What is this? It's like um it's like a turtle with spots and like wings. It's got like wings here. Maybe I shouldn't be drawing on top of my painting, but it's fun. It's fun. Why not? It's beautiful. Ha! Kill it. Uh, the one thing I will say about this program is it's not all, um, it's, it's not perfect. Uh, it's, it's pretty slow and CPU intensive. Um, but besides that, once you kind of understand the things that are CPU, it's ex it, expensive for your CPU to like put resources into, you can kind of avoid them. Like I know that having giant wet brushes are, you know, is my limit. So I, I try to keep it below the, um, below that. Yeah, Miss RPG Girl, you totally could. Um, I think that would be really fun to do. Um, there's there's some really, really cool people that have done some really fun things. If you press too hard, does the paint drip? Well, so there's a feature in here. I mean, let's see if I can get it to work. Um, actually, yeah, you know what? Let's play around with this. I'm going to save this. There's a feature um, that's that uses drips. Um, that is, I haven't really played around with. Maybe you need more RAM. I would always, I always need more RAM. I actually have 64 gigs of RAM. Um, but for some reason, it's it's still pretty slow. I think I'd need a better CPU. All right, so the water feature. So let's just put some color on here and then wet the canvas. So, well, since I'm giving like a little tutorial here, um, there we go. Okay, so I'm using, down here, I'm using the, um, the watercolor brush and I'm using it on wash flat and I have it max water and max opacity. And the, the max water means that I'm putting a bunch of water on this canvas. And you can see all the water here. If you go into the water mode, you can see how wet the canvas is. And you can even add more water to the canvas. Um, it's like a different layer. And then if we, so this is the, the part with the drips. It's, it's called the blow tool. Yeah, and see, even with this size, it's pretty, it's pretty slow. If you have 64, you obviously need 128. Exactly. Obviously. All right, so I'm, I'm blowing. Okay, we're, we're getting some drips, some. Yeah, it's also, OBS is also taking up some of my CPU, and so it's not usually this slow. Um, 
one of my favorite parts is to the splatter is really fun so like we get a bunch of splatter on here and then it starts it starts blending and making some really beautiful marks i've used this for some backgrounds actually this is how i made the emotes um So I'll let this blend a little bit with, well, let's add one more color. So you, you can watch this blend. And so the, the blowing that I did earlier moved the water around. So now it's like, it's just like morphing into itself and doing all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, this, this program is really powerful. Um, I've only touched, you know, a portion of what you can do with it. So I'm excited to see. What, that's why I love playing with it, because it's, it's, there's a few tools, but with those tools, you can do a lot of things. I just noticed I have my stream there. Yeah, it is alive. Cool watercolor brush and procreate. Those neat splatter effect. Yeah, the splatter effect is really cool. Okay, so I, the trick, I think, with the, the drip, so I'm going to dry the layer up here at the top. There's like wet the layer, dry the layer. That means it's putting an even wash of water over the entire thing. The way I understand how drips work is now if I blow on this, I think it'll start dripping. I don't know. I've never actually gotten this feature to work. Yeah, I don't think it's working. Okay. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's it's very powerful. It's very fun. All right, I'm going to open up my Y7G. Yeah, I think the splatter is probably the best effect that I've seen in terms of um, the blending. It's It can create some really beautiful things, and I've done this for figure drawing uh, a lot, and not the splatter, but using this app. And I think I've made some of my best digital figure drawings because of this app. And it's very cool. And there's a 30-day free trial. All right, that's the end of the ad segment for today. That's the end of the ads. Oh man, I'm excited because um, I get to make chili this week. I love chili. I love cooking, first of all. That's like one of the things that I've I've learned during the pandemic. It's like I absolutely, absolutely love cooking. And my chili is just so, it's so fun to eat, make chili because it's just like, all right, what's going bad in the fridge? Yeah, we'll add all this. <laughs> And my recipe has just been like refined after doing that a bunch. So I'm, I'm super excited to make chili. Thanks for sponsoring the stream, Rebel. They did not actually sponsor this. Um, is it the, not the FDA, not the Food and Drug Administration. What is the, the, the body, the government body that deals with FAA? No. FCC? Federal, or FTC, Federal Trade Commission. What? Okay, never mind. I was gonna tell them that I was not sponsored, but I don't think it matters. Doesn't matter. All right, let's see how this is looking. So, oh, I can move my camera. Actually, I think my camera's fine there. So the blue, we need to bring the blue of the sky down and kind of darken up that middle section a little bit. I think it just, I need a, a wash on 
the left side there. I think the set the the colors are good on the rest of the piece. The right half. I don't like this brush. Oh, I'm using a watercolor brush. Or acrylic. Where did that come from? All right, there we go. Yeah, I want to learn more about this program so I can... Um, so I can share it more. I feel like I know like enough to kind of do what I want, but I've showed it to um, some other artists and you know when you have to teach something, you realize the limits of your knowledge. I definitely noticed that. <laughs> I noticed that when I was like trying to show them some techniques and stuff and it's like, well, you know, I think you can do this thing with the drips I don't know how to do it. So, yeah, I'll I'll work on figuring it out. I mean, I'm I'm definitely using it every day, so I'll probably learn some tips and tricks and stuff. Oh yeah, really? Really? I feel like all these songs are the same. <laughs> Alright, so it's got like this nice lighter blue up here. I just noticed it's got like a streak of lighter blue. It's almost like the, the clouds are coming through here or something. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. Ew, lyrics, yeah. I think I like the electronic instrumentals a lot more. I mean, this is a little too simple. Oh, do you guys want to hear a little preview of my album? I just did this. I mean, it's of course, it's not even close to being done. Maybe I won't share it. But um, I am working on my third album, so. It's a lot darker and heavier than my other music. And then it just ends. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to keep working on that one, but I like the start of it. The fun thing with uh, with doing music and art at the same time, and the same thing as doing like AI art and music, um, is they, they kind of blend together. Like you can do the AI art while you're painting and have it watch and have it develop in the background. Oh, Arknight, are you still there? You said you wanted to look at some of the uh, AI generated stuff, right? I don't know if you're still here. Hey, Phoenix, how you doing? I am doing fantastic. How are you? You beautiful and amazing 
sparkly Stardust Meatball you, yourself. Yeah, no rush. No, it's fine. It, it, breaks. Breaks are good. Um, Arknight, do you have a drawing or photo you want to put through um, the AI art? By the way, guys, I, I did this. We did this last stream. And it was okay. Or not last stream. Maybe it was the stream before that. And it, it was okay. It was fine. But oh my god, I am so excited about this new model I found. I am like I'm like oozing with excitement about the the possibilities with this new um this new model. Um uh, with machine learning you have models that are trained on data sets. And so the data set that this model that I'm using is trained on is Wikipedia art, which is like tens of thousands of art pieces from art history um so it's it creates some incredibly beautiful pieces like just absolutely beautiful above ground not in jail or a hospital so i can't complain <laughs> it's a good way to look at life yeah yeah well, i'm glad excited about nude models i am also excited about nude models i do nude models every week once a week the dream app yeah let me share so i'm so excited about this um i guess this would be the easiest way to do it i don't know i'm new to streaming here guys so um i'm i'm doing sketches so here's a sketch wow oh wow that's big that's big that's huge. It's so big. Why is it so big? It's it's giant. Okay. Abort. Abort. That is not the way to do that. <laughs> All right. So we can do... Uh, <laughs> um, sorry. I, was, I didn't plan to do this, but I thought... Uh, yeah. Go ahead, Arcanine. I think he might get timed out, but... Um, you can even message it to me on Discord. Yeah, this is a good break for me too. Um, I feel like every hour I, I like need a break from painting. Like I used to be able to just like go and just go, but it's nice to take breaks. Okay, so can I do it in here? Let me see if I can. So I do this. Yes, I can. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, this is much easier than I thought it'd be. Okay. So. Uh, there. Okay. And there. Very cool. Okay, very cool. Okay, so let me do browser capture. Uh, window capture. Wait. Okay. Okay, cool. So one of the things I've been doing, oh, oh, there's my stream. There we go, let's pull that out so I can see chat. <laughs> there we go. So one of the things I've been doing with AI generated art is I will um, take, oh, you can't really see it. So I'll take an idea or concept. So these top ones, I've made a painting and I put it through the AI art and then I'm integrating what they, cre what they create into the painting. I also just started doing this thing where I, um, I'll make a sketch or drawing of something. So in this case, it was a memory of an event in my life. Um, and I, it's kind of abstract and I want to see what the, the AI is going to come up with. So here's what it, it came up with it from this sketch of just like, the, you know, this person being crushed by this large, like orb of light. And now what I'm doing with this is I'm then going over it and painting it. Um, so kind of bring it back to kind of my initial idea. 
So I've been really, really excited about um, the possibilities for kind of a conversation with uh, the AI and like seeing what the, the what can go back and forth between the artist and um, the machine. But yeah, it's it's crazy what it got just from like my initial sketch of like a few colors and like the composition and it poops this out. And then when I start painting over it, I can get it more um, to kind of the direction I want. Um, so let me load up a multi-perceptor VQGAN. Okay, allow that, mount it. Yeah, it's it's something I'm really excited about. Um, it's it's going to be my main focus for my art for a while, I think, because it's just so exciting. It's it really is. Um, I don't know. It kind of it kind of makes me like emotional about how powerful it can be. Um, all right, so I'm just running the the model here. If you guys haven't ever used a Google Colab notebook, they all there's all this code that someone's written behind it, and it has this nice user interface. Um, can we, does it show my last prompts? No, it doesn't show anymore. Oh, but I, I will have to edit your thing, Arknight, which is fine. I can do that. I can do that just fine. But yeah, let me know when you have that, um, and we'll run it. And we will run it. My model is ready. My body is ready. But yeah, thank you guys so much for just like hanging out, even though I'm just like rambling and barely painting. These streams are really nice for me too because it's, um, I don't know, I can take my art less seriously, <laughs> I guess. I, I, I feel like I can play more and I find that when I'm able to play, I actually make some of my best work. I'm so focused on making a portfolio now to apply to my master's program that, you know, I forget to have fun sometimes. And when I do get to have fun, I've made some of my best portfolio pieces um so that's why I'm, I'm i'm excited about streaming kind of unlocking that a little bit excuse me so I spend half their stream rambling exactly this is the way this is the way So let's see. So my plan here is just to kind of darken up this side a little more, and then I'm going to go back over. I think one thing I've been learning is to try to treat the whole canvas at the same time, especially with portraits. Um, I think that's where I really learned it was with a portrait. You know, you don't want to just focus on one eye or like the lips or something. You want to make sure everything is kind of attacked at the same time need to get back to streaming so i can get something halfway started <laughs> yeah dick lebowski you should and it's fun too because you can kind of define how you want your stream to be like i've enjoyed hanging out in streams where it was just like no talking at all it's just like you know chill music and somebody creating but yeah you guys should follow dick lebowski you know encourage him peer pressure The way that I aspire to paint, it's never, it's never happens this way. I mean, it, it can, is that idea of like doing one pass over the whole piece and then going back over it to refine it. 
uh, kind of like I was saying about, you know, you don't want to focus on just doing the eyes or something. I think that helps. Um, I don't know. I think it helps make the piece more cohesive. And I think one of the problems I have with art is that even while I'm doing something, I learn. So if I'm learning on one piece and I look back at work that I did hours ago or even minutes ago, it doesn't match. It's that constant process of iteration and development that you have to kind of struggle with. So like I was saying, you got to as aspire to develop your piece all at once. Or at least that's how I kind of combat that. I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but I feel like even working within one piece, I find that like I, I change and develop and learn and and cry. That's how you make it multimedia. Mixed media. This piece has tears in it. OMGs, I see a moss and he's lies tonight has been made. How are you doing, Matrix? How are you doing? I'm glad you're here, hanging out. All right, so I'm going to finish working on this guy, and then I'm going to start bringing some more details into the rest of the piece as well. I really like that bright yellow. That's beautiful. So this is a reference I found on Reddit. Really love the colors. Thank you. Love the clouds, thank you. Yeah, I'm having fun with this. Uh, so this is a piece I found on uh, Earth Porn. Have you guys ever been to that subreddit? There's a lot of subreddits that have weird names, and there's a bunch that are like Earth Porn and Space Porn and that kind of stuff. Um, I like the Earth Porn one. It, they make they have some really good ones on there. I don't read it much. Yeah, it's fine. Reddit's just another social media platform. I think they're they're so the social media platforms are like so homogenous. Their content is so homogenous that most of the content that excels on one platform ends up on the other. I mean, I have been exposed to so many uh, TikToks, and I only just recently got TikTok posted to Discord channel. Yes. <gasps> Yes. Okay, so let's make some AI art. Yes. Okay, so I need a prompt, though. Um, what do you want to tell the AI to paint? Usually you can say something like a, a, like a description of, like, you know, man with wig outside under a tree in the style of uh, Rembrandt or something. Uh, 
when when you say in the style of it really does a good job of creating something that's really interesting all right i just had to edit it a little bit um i gotta edit it down to the right size oh and the window's still open <laughs> i'm a good streamer all right so we'll put um where is that folder? I hate having so many monitors, but I love it at the same time. All right, so we've got, yeah, okay. Oh, Jesus, the code, the code has been revealed. Do you want to try this prompt? Oh, a, a human with wings flies above the clouds in the style of Jacques-Louis David. I could come up with a, you know what? I'll just describe it for you, Ark Knight. How about um, man with a wig and purple sunglasses um, stands in the sun under a palm tree in the style of, ooh, I need an artist. Um, I could go with Monet or Van Gogh. Uh, we could do Van Gogh. Let's do Van Gogh. Okay, so... Oh, the dimensions. Shit. 351, 512. 351, 512. Van Gogh? Okay, cool. Oh, Goya would be good. We could do Goya after this. All right, we got, so we have Pearl and Noise. We don't need that. VATB, you have the 3232. 1684, the wiki art. Iteration strength, that's okay. Weights, weights, normalize. Yeah, that's for. Hey, we can turn that off, but that's fine. Okay, so here we'll we'll let it run. Up here. Okay. We'll make it a little smaller. There we go. All right. So while we're painting, we can watch this develop. So we got a Dean Kuhn style on these prompts. Oh yeah. Mad libs. Gotta do the mad libs. Okay, so there's the first iteration. Oh no, it's not Oh no, what has it done? What has it done to your poor face? <laughs> I've never actually put a photo through it, this one, so I'm not sure what it's gonna do. We'll see if we'll see what it does. <laughs> I'm not super confident. <laughs> you want to go to the Van Gogh exhibit? Yeah, that would be fun. Oh, what is going on? It is definitely doing something. <laughs> the AI has assumed control, yes. It kind of look it does kind of look like the nerd one. I'm it's it confuses me sometimes like where it's getting some of the information. We can play around with the prompt too. I'd like to I I like the idea of playing around with a photograph. Uh, it's not something I've done before. Hey, proper artist, how's it going? How are you? Thanks for coming by. Oh, it's getting funky now. It's getting funky. Also, this snare drum is killing me. Just chilling, nice, very nice. All right, so we've got I'm I'm okay with the clouds and how they feel right now. I think I'm just cleaning up like the mountains to get them to a point where I'm happy with them. There we go. I was waiting for the beat. I'm waiting for the beat. All right, so it's, it's more 
it's warmer. This, this over here is a little warmer, which I really like. It is almost orange, this snow over here. I don't know what's going on with your your portrait art guide. I'm sorry. We're ruining. Uh-oh. There we go. More like a potato. Becoming a coconut. Oh my gosh, you maybe you are becoming a coconut. Maybe we're all just coconuts. Does anybody want to do a quick like stick figure drawing that we could put through this? Um just like a really simple drawing, maybe some like basic colors, and we we'll, we'll do it we could do it after. It's funny how like the, the really simple ones can create some really beautiful prompts or uh, beautiful paintings. All you have to have is a, a good uh, seed or a good prompt. All right, so these highlighted areas are a lot smaller. I guess it, it gives it a nice sense of scale when they're a lot smaller too. find this fascinating. I, it's why I'm addicted to it. It's so good. It's so much fun. What's cool about um, this notebook is you can also save a GIF. I haven't done it yet, so I'm not sure if it actually, if I have to configure it or anything, but uh, it can do some really, it can make some really like creepy animations as it morphs your cre your prompt uh, into something. That's actually how I discovered it was someone shared a, a gift they had made uh, for a, 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 like an Inktober prompt. And I saw it and it instantly messaged that person and I was just like, you need to tell me how you're making this. This is so cool. And I've been addicted ever since. Okay, this is a different angle. We gotta fix that angle a little bit. Striations. Interesting. So you've turned into a, you've turned into the tree. I, okay, so I think that's that's as far as it's gonna go. So let's let's try it. We're gonna try a different prompt. Uh, we're gonna take out palm tree, and we're gonna say in the style of trending on art station. So this has been this has gotten me some really cool results. So it's looking for all of the things that are trending on art station right now. Um, and it'll create based on that. I've wanted to do things like, um, interesting. It's doing the same thing again. <laughs> it's, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. There's so many ideas I have for messing with this, but it's so fun to play with while you're, while you're like just painting and creating too or eating or watching a movie. I can feel productive even though I'm doing something like uh, relaxing. The other day when I was watching uh, Handmaiden, there were some parts I didn't really want to watch because um, it's a pretty intense movie. And I was working on the AI art at the same time so it was it was nice to have that as a distraction and 
the harder to watch segments of that movie. What did I change? So I changed, um, I took out Palm Tree and I said, uh, in the style of trending on ArtStation. So it's looking for images that are popular on ArtStation at this moment. I think the AI generated images like keys to open up to eyes to break out of your confined creative lens. Yeah, I see, I absolutely see it that way. Yeah. I, I get inspired by it. I don't think it's, I mean, it, you, people, some people view it as like the finished piece, you know, what the AI creates is it, you know, it's, it's, it's done its thing. But I I find that as like a really good starting point for, you know, what I want to do with it, which is, you know, get inspired on the composition or the colors. It's dark mist just a tiny bit. ugly stick figure that I use my finger to yes okay I got it yeah yeah we'll do that next do you have a an idea for a prompt kitty the best thing you can do is give it a bunch of words and then say in the style of an artist uh, whatever artist you want I guess you could also say like in the style of impressionism too or in the style of cubism I haven't tried that but I imagine that would work. You have an art station account. Do you work in art? Oh, that's awesome, Ark Knight. I don't think I've seen your work. W would you be down to post it in the Discord? I'd love to see. I would love to check it out after stream. Also, for anyone out there, please feel free to, to join the, the Discord. Um, we're hanging out, sharing art, inspiration, chatting with each other. Um, I'm giving it a plug because I'm trying to, to build a Discord for the first time. I've, I've never... We used... Back in my day, we used Skype. We were on Skype all the time. We didn't have your fancy Discord. Thank you, Kitty. Kills it in Unreal. Oh, I'm super excited to see it. I'm super excited to see your work. This is getting funky. So here, let's... let's. Oh, I can do this. It's, it's doing something. Now there's a whole crowd behind you. I'll post this. This one is great. I'll post this one in Discord so you can have it. MSQ. What's MSQ? Okay, Kitty. I'll, I'll come up with something. I'll come up with something. Yeah, I'll think of something. I might add some color to it if you said it was a stick figure drawing. This image is getting insane. It is. I don't know what the heck is going on. <laughs> oh, do you guys see the face behind him? Oh, and there's like a huge crowd up there now, too. Where did they come from? I Okay, I, th I thought you were talking about ICQ. Wasn't that the noise they made when you got a message? Uh-oh. Why was it an uh-oh when you get a message? There's a tree, too. Yeah, I guess the... But do you see all the people up there in the tree? I don't know if you guys can see the details on it. See, like, there's that guy in the suit and, like, all the heads... And then there's like another head like up there. Oh man, this one's getting weird. It's getting funky. 
I like it. All the people from Twitch? Mmm, interesting. Yeah, we should have said something like at a convention. That would have been fun, seeing what it would do with that. You can do whatever you want. I just sent a basic stick of here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Does the tree have a face? That's what I'm saying. The tree's got one face, and then it's made of people. It's a tree face made of people. Which is fine. It's fine. You can be made of people. This is weird, but it's fine. Getting the Picasso vibe. Yeah, I can see Picasso in this. Definitely feel, with the colors, it feels more more modern than Picasso. Because it's super vibrant. A tree is better hair than a... <laughs> Well, actually, I think Arknight here with that wig. That wig is really coming through now. All right, so we've done 350 iterations. And I set it to do 500. Usually at about 200 to 300 is when it's it's done enough. And then beyond 200 or 300, it just starts getting weirder and weirder. Uh, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's like, no, you've gone too far. This one, I want to see where it goes. <laughs> yeah, the other one, though, it, it was not as good as this. Boots, cats, do do cats, doots, cats, do do cats. Is this AI program easy to set up? Yeah, here I'll share a link to it. Um, let me see if I can find it. So this is VQ GAN Clip Multi Perceptor Google Collab. Boom, there it is. Uh, cut the curly on this list, number 14. Uh, here it is. Boom. 1129. Yeah, this is the one I'm using. So, uh, let me share it with you. Put it in Discord. Okay, so yeah, if you guys want a link to it, uh, I put it in my Discord. It's in the main general section. Um, all you have to do is click on this and then go up to the top and say, uh, file, save a copy in my drive or save a copy in drive. That way you keep it forever. Um, you keep the code forever just in case the notebook gets messed up or they change it or something. Um, uh, it, it basically how the Google collab works is each section of code is broken up into, uh, little buttons that you can play and so you're just going to go through and you're going to play, hit play 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 and then to put your image in you upload it on the left side into your folder your files folder um, so over here you can see all the the pictures so i put the one that i'm using right now is called arknight.jpg and then oh it's done cool so it, it finished um so this main section here called do the run, you're going to change the prompt. Um, no, don't make any special characters in it, just plain text. And usually say, saying something like in the style of artist works the best, or you can say like painting in the style of artist. And then you're going to change your initial image to whatever image that matches. And then all the other, th and make sure it's the right dimensions. Uh, 512 is usually the max you want to do on one dimension. And then you can change all the other stuff. Um, the things that I've changed, I've changed this one. So I think the default is VQGAN 16384. Um, I like the WikiArt 16384. I think it works really well. 
and then learning rate you can change from 0.1 or 0.2 i forget what the default is um, that just means how fast it learns and uh, you can also turn on two models of the vit b32 which means that two models are working in tandem doing it separately and then it's creating a merged image of the two. Oh yeah i can pin that um and then the only other one there's all the stuff about saving the prompt and everything that i haven't really gotten into but um could be really cool and then use ema tensor i think that one's off by default which i use makes it it makes it match the Im the first image a little better okay so let's see what arc knight's thing turned into so this was the the first try it did so it, you can see it, this is iteration zero uh out of 500 and then it, it'll show every so often so this is number this is the second one and here it just starts getting funky oh there's the face it's the face starts coming into the tree and this is where all the people start showing up and then here let's just scroll down here <laughs> this is great okay so i'll share that in, in uh discord and i just pinned i pinned the kugel the kugel note back. um actually um i'll make a clip um yeah can i make a clip clip so I'll, I'll i'll add a clip of how to use the notebook as well um which i think would be good it'd be good for you guys and if you guys have any questions about it just let me know you even got a gavel to keep got that we were participating as judge on the main switch stage oh that's awesome that's awesome arc knight Yeah, and the the only thing, so the only thing that'll be different with your running this as opposed to me running it is I'm paying ten bucks a month to Google, um, to for the pro subscription, which means I get access to um, faster servers uh, for compiling the images, uh, and that just means that the image is generated faster. It's it'll be the same image for you. Um, yeah so what's really cool so you could go up here and say um let's see where is it so i don't see where it is it should be like display iterations max iteration oh they took off that feature yeah so basically you save art output and if you want to save it for video you hit this and that'll save even more it'll save like every five or something uh, as opposed to every 25 or 50. um yeah so we, let, let me do this other one so this is one that kitty did i'm gonna add some color to it that's all i'm gonna do to it Where's my pen? Where's my pen? Why is it grayscale? Is your image grayscale? What is going on? I'm just, I'm making some funny things here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to save this and then we'll do another one. So save as, we'll call this a meatball on the desktop. And then in here, so you guys can see it. So I've, I have a new one. So we've called it meatball meatball where is it did i save it oh there it is okay so this is meatball we'll drag it over here 
So it's meatball.jpg. And we're going to say a beautiful stardust meatball dances on the moon in space in the style of um, pop art. Let's try it. pop. I want to try it this. Actually, I want to try something else in the style of impressionism. Let's try this. Oh, the dimensions. I always forget the dimensions. So this is 512 by 506. 512 by 506. All right, so we'll do it. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> So I added a little color to it. All right. I'm actually I'm actually kind of happy with how this landscape is coming out even though I've been distracted. Rubens or Rodin. Ooh, very good choices. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Rodan would be fun. The I wonder how it would do with like the mixed media artists like Rodan. Cause Rodan is sculpture and painting, right? Or is, was he just sculpture? Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, look, it's turning him into a spaceman. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I love it. I love it. Dan was mainly sculptures. Okay, yeah, because I know he did Thinker and like Walking Man and Gates of Hell and stuff. Um, yeah, I can't think of a painting he did. Yeah, I guess it was just sculpture. Oh no, is it turning into a spaceman with a meatball head? I think it is turning into a spaceman with a meatball head. Does anybody else want to do one? Uh, all you got to do is just make a drawing and you can send it uh, on Discord. You can post it in my Discord. They don't take that long. So since I have the pro subscription, it takes, I think it's like 10 times faster. Um, it actually might even be faster than that. But it is so cool that I can I can do this um, without having to know programming. I mean, he, knowing coding helps a little bit to like read what people have made, but or edit it. But I don't think I've I haven't needed to do that at all. But you know, the they're pretty easy to manipulate. Yeah, I know who you are. Yeah, I should make a bunch of stupid drawings. Yeah, kitty, I'll I'll do them. I think it's fun. I think it's fun. I think this would be amazing to do uh, if you have kids and get your kids excited about like um, machine learning. I mean, it's seeing what the, what it creates. Disaster.exe. I don't know why I said disaster.exe, but that's how I read it. Ren Ren says hi and police assault in progress. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> Disaster, how, how's it going? Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Oh, I turned off my alerts. I'm sorry. I think I turned on my alerts again. Oh, the, yeah, they're behind there. <laughs> okay. Let's 
put them on top. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm Monkey on Strike. Moss, your new follower, but loving what you're doing. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Monkey on Strike. I also go by Moss. Right now, we're doing a, a landscape painting over here with the references up there in the corner. We just started this today. And we're also doing some AI-generated art over here. Um, oh, wait. We, we've missed it. We've missed it. Oh, my God. It's so good. So uh, the AI-generated art over there is a drawing made by Kitty. And then we, we're putting it through machine learning uh, to develop an art piece. Oh, look. Hey, my follow alert works. Thank you so much, Geek Panda Squad. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, but I'm a, I am ai am a former streamer. This is actually not a real stream. This is a figment of your imagination. Um, <laughs> this is actually not happening. But uh, I stream on Sundays. Uh, I used to stream all the time. And I'm a painter and a musician. This could be considered STEM learning. Exactly, exactly. Thank you, Princess Coney. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. What were you up to on your stream? Everybody should go uh, follow Disaster. Stem with Art is called Steam. Yes. Yes. Coney is your wife. Oh, awesome. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate the, uh, the, the familial follow. Making perler beads. Oh my God, Christmas decoration. That's amazing. Yeah, every so I take a walk every day and there's a tree right by my house that is decorated with perler beads and it's it's so cool. It's really beautiful. Are you, are you doing like video game characters or like, what, do, what, do you, what are your uh, decorations gonna be? Yeah, I love perler beads. Every time I go by, I'm like, man, I really wish, I really wish I still did this. Yeah, definitely go follow Disaster. Let's let's see some cool Perler action. Actually, can I follow you? Wait, do you have an emote? Can you post an emote in chat? Disaster? Made video game characters. I yeah, figured, I figured. What uh, video games? Oh, I meant one of, do you have emotes? So you could, if you post one of your emotes, I found out recently, you can click on someone's emote and follow their channel. Um, so if you post one of your emotes, we can just click on your, your emote and follow your channel. I, I didn't know this was a thing. I thought it was so cool. Keychains and magnets. Oh yeah. But Christmas tree, Christmas tree de decorations. It's like such a cool idea. All right, there we go. We got an emote. All right, so everybody click on that emote. Click on that emote. Hit follow. Wait, I'm following you already? I'm following you already, I think? Yeah, I'm following you already. I don't remember. Well, uh, it's good to see you again. <laughs> I wonder when I followed you. That's the funny thing. It's like with having a bad memory is <laughs> that you get to experience the world fresh and, and new. <laughs> but yeah, everybody hit that emote and hit follow. Go give them some love. I, I do too. I, I didn't remember at all. I'm sorry. It's also been years since I've streamed. So I used to stream in 2015 was when I started streaming and um, I did it full time every day and then I um, I got a job and that job took over my life and I didn't stream for years I did some random streams but only just started streaming this year let me see your comments in chat. Yeah, I feel you. I don't know, how, but here we are. Yeah, Kitty, and multiple people came by with that. 
It's good though. It's good though because people are like, I don't know when I followed you, but I'm here, and I like it. It's like you gotta you gotta trust your past self. You gotta trust trust your instincts of your past self. <laughs> Six years, five months, 19 days, 10 hours. Oh, can I do follow age in my own channel? Is that a thing? Wow, that's so rude. That is so rude. How dare I not follow myself? Got him. <laughs> It's like me going through a Twitch following this and not knowing you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Four years, four months, four days, four hours. Oh, enjoy your lunch. Yeah, that's the interesting thing with raiding where it's just like, yeah, I ended my stream for a reason. I gotta go. <laughs> it's like, yes, I totally understand. <laughs> or Meatball Spaceman. Oh, wow. What's going on with Meatball Spaceman? Huh. Huh. It's doing something. He's kind of dancing, I guess. Huh. <laughs> Oops. What did I do there? There we go. Yeah, it's funny how sometimes the art the the art that the AI generates is like it's in that weird moment. I I mentioned it the other day to someone how it's kind of like in it's like a cloud. Everyone sees something different. And sometimes it's like just in the middle of like a few different things. So it's like everyone can see it differently. Everyone can see it in a completely different way. Found the maximum follow maximum follows of fourteen ninety two. I've been on Twitch for too long. Oh my gosh, Ark Knight. I know what you mean. I actually had I broke it. Um I think the maximum follows used to be two thousand. And I when you I I don't know what happens, but like when you follow someone after you have that many number of that number of followers, I think it just makes so you unfollow someone. I actually don't know what happens, but yeah, it's crazy. I didn't know it was fourteen ninety two. Okay. Oh yeah, here it's done. Okay, so we can scroll through. So it started off with this. This is what it started off as. And then we started getting the meatball head. More meatball head kind of dancing. We're getting some stars. He's getting chunky. He's getting that chunky spaceman vibe. We lo we lost him. From here to here, we lost him. We don't know what happened to him. Ooh, and that just gets like the shading, and then the meatball looks more delicious. Like I would I would eat this meatball. Oh, it looks a little burnt. You burnt the meatball. Here, I'll post it. I'll post it in uh, Discord. Yeah, if anybody else wants to do one, we can do one. Um, I'm going to hide it for now. Uh, but if anyone else has a drawing or something they want to turn into AI art, just let me know. You can post the drawing in my Discord. There it is. I post it in my Discord, and we'll, we'll make the AI. We'll feed it. Feed it to the AI. Ad zone, no. Wait, why are you getting ads, kitty? Are you guys back yet?
You have to delete a follow to follow more streamers. Oh, interesting. Oh, you're not getting ads. Okay, I was worried because I, I have heard stories of people, of subscribers getting ads, and I was worried that I had a setting wrong. You're just sharing enthusiasm like, yay. Okay, I need I need something else here. I need something else. Is there anything else we can listen to that's not? Why is it so quiet? That's quiet for you guys, right? There we go. Back, but now I want McDonald's. Arc Knight, thank you so much. <gasps> 51 month subscription. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you so much. You get your meatballs back. <laughs> really appreciate that sub. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I've redid all my emotes too, so you get you get a bunch of new emotes. Uh and animated emotes. I really appreciate that. So I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to keep working on this a little bit. I, I've been saying that I've, I'll do 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific. Um, you need to hear the catchphrase. I know I haven't really been saying it. Welcome to the Mossiverse, where we are all just stardust meatballs, and together we can create everything. Everything? We can create anything. A place of positivity. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I haven't said that in so long. The other day, or the, the first stream I did, someone subscribed, and I like tried to remember it. <laughs> Because I hadn't said it in so long. It is funny how it just comes back, though. But thank you, you beautiful Stardust Meatball. Enjoy your Stardust Meatball emotes. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I, I, I'm going to be streaming Sundays at 6 p.m. every day. Every day. Every Sunday. <laughs> and uh i'll probably go for about two hours so we're probably winding down here is what i'm getting at uh but if you guys want to hang out uh i'll be in the my discord um i'm gonna be jumping in to do random um discord streams where sometimes i'll just be hanging out and sharing my screen sometimes i'll be hanging out and chatting and sharing my screen uh, we'll also be doing, um, I'll also be doing some movie nights and stuff like that. So yeah, people would get angry at me cause they thought I was being fake, but I, what I was actually doing was trying to battle my own depression by creating a superhero called Moss and attacking my depression with positivity and creating a space for others to do the same. I actually did a talk on it. Um, so it was not fake. I was just, just becoming, becoming a super, superhuman. Got hidden meatball art near me. <gasps> hidden? Why is it hidden? I'm confused and excited. Oh yeah, and art. So I'm going to be redoing my website. Um, I started redoing it um, where I'm going to be putting up new prints. Uh, I dropped my prices like 30%. So my new prices are going to be, they're going to be prints on canvas and on paper. 
and also uh, framed canvas prints. They're beautiful, beautiful frames. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really high quality prints and they're going to be 30% cheaper than they were before than I had listed them before. So I, I'm going to be updating those in the next few weeks when I have time. Uh, that'll be with like my landscapes, my AI art and my, my portraits, I, I don't think are really good for prints. So I probably just do por my landscapes and AI art. Get angry over anger. Yeah. Some people. You just have to, you have to translate something. When I worked at Twitch, that was something I had to learn. It was like how to translate what people are saying to what they actually mean. And a lot of times it's like insecurity and, you know, it's not directed at you. It's just like kind of, they're just insecure about themselves and yeah, it says more about them than, oh my God, this is getting loud. But yeah, sometimes, you know, people getting angry at you is not really directed at you. Maybe it's. Maybe they're just angry. <laughs> so it's not really a reflection on you in any way. But it still hurts. It definitely still hurts. I would, uh, it got to me a lot. Yeah, I don't know why I got so loud. I mean, still, it's getting louder. Like, I've been turning it down for you guys. Last Twitch on the artist said we were sitting down talking. You gave me some more. Oh, yes! Got to choose from a selection of the one I had. A random meatball on the back. Oh, so you, they were, yeah, it was not last Twitch, it was 2018. Um, yeah, I, I probably know one of the prints that you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, those are, those, those prints actually came out really good. I was impressed. They're the uh, large, extra large postcard prints. <laughs> I thought I was going to use them as postcards for a project I was working on, but they, they came out so good that I didn't want to ship them as postcards, you know, because it would damage them and they were actually really high quality. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you have a hidden meatball. Now I know what you mean. Amazing friends. Thank you. Yeah, I was actually really happy with the quality. Although I will say the company that I did them with, I really don't like and I don't use anymore because um, they kept f screwing up my my prints. It was, I'd order like prints for like 10 different pieces and two of the batches out of the 10 would, would be bad. So it was like 20% of the time they would screw up like, you know, so maybe like the colors aren't printed on top of each other or, um, you know, there's weird splotches on it. Give me like 30 of them. <laughs> Cause I really appreciate your support arc night. I really do. I was happy. To, I was happy to give you, didn't I give you a painting? I feel like I gave, I gave you a painting at TwitchCon 2018. Maybe I'm dreaming. You love your hidden meatball. <laughs> okay, I did. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm glad you like it. I was thinking the other day about... Um, it was kind of morbid, but it's like, you know, what's your impact on the world, your footprint that you're going to leave behind when you leave this world? And I thought, you know, it's my art. My art is really the thing that's going to be left behind when I'm gone. And I started thinking about, like, what impact my art has had so far on the world. And I was thinking, like, the context was, like, where is my art now? And I was just thinking about, like, all of the people, like, you amazing humans that have my art and how amazing that is, how incredible it is that, that people are collecting my art. I don't know. It gave me, it gave me a sense of, um, cause you could say a sense of purpose. I mean, yeah. 
<laughs> it was a nice thought thinking about where all my art has ended up. Yeah. You'll be a mass art collector. <laughs> well, I just appreciate you guys hanging out here. You don't have to collect my art to support me. Even you guys chilling, talking, inspiring. You guys are incredible supporters. When COVID isn't throwing a wrench in your finances, yeah. Life in finances, yeah. I feel that. I feel you there. Yeah, COVID has been insane. What, what thing have you found a greater appreciation for in COVID? I think I'd have to say cooking for me. You know, not being able to go out to eat or whatever. And realizing that like, oh, it's actually not that hard and it is so much healthier and it's it's fun. And then sharing it with people, it's like that's so rewarding being able to share creations with people. Creations that you can literally eat. Currently living under parental of, hey, me too. Life goes backwards and say, it's fine. It's fine. Saving money. Saving money. Currently living under my big furry kitty cat. Oh, yeah. Archnive. Human physical contact. That is incredible. Yeah, that is a good answer. You don't realize I've, I've been, I didn't realize how touch starved I was. Yeah. In 2020, I remember hugging somebody like five or six months into the pandemic. No, it was like, it was, it was like eight months into the pandemic and I gave someone a hug and I remember it feeling so weird, but it's like, this is, this is normal. Like, why does this feel so weird? And it's like, oh, I haven't hugged somebody in months. <laughs> That's why. Greater appreciation for my stresses pre-COVID. Things that felt like too much now feel like nothing. Yeah. Learning a lot of new mediums during the pandemic. Oh, that's a really good way to cope. Learning. Learning is a good way to cope. Yeah, I've been enjoying... Excuse me. I've been enjoying... Uh, getting into things like music and you know pushing myself in that way it's been really rewarding I've definitely appreciated that all right I think I think I'm gonna call it here guys it has been a beautiful, beautiful stream. It has been wonderful hanging out with you guys. But I think it's time to end it. It is time. So let's go find a human. A human to go raid. Okay, we got a good target. We got a good target. I like the smaller streams though. I like I like giving some love to some smaller streams. Let's see. League. No, get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you for coming by Matrix. And thank you, Kitty. Thank you, Ark Knight. Thank you, Dick Lebowski. Thank you all to the to the humans who've been lurking. People who've been dropping in and out, you guys are fantastic. Um, let's go. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're going to go, we're going to go raid this at beautiful human. Um, thank you guys so much for being here, for being fantastic and amazing. Uh, get your, uh, emotes ready in chat, um, for raiding. We're just going to say meatball raid. It's a meatball raid. If you have the dancing emotes, you can use them. I like it. So there's, there's two dancing emotes and when you put them both together, they go out of sync and it's beautiful and amazing. All right. So we're going to go raid this human. So thank you guys so much. Uh, go give domestic Dan a follow. If you don't know him, he's a wonderful human. Uh, if you know him, then, then you know him. I uh, really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Uh, come hang out in our Discord. Uh, chill with us there. Uh, go check out my album. Uh, go hug somebody. Thank you so much. We'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, you beautiful people. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you for being here. <laughs>